Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block, and this weekend Liverpool will take on Manchester City at Anfield. Now last week, Manchester City won a very, very close match, and Liverpool lost uh, by extraordinary lengths. So this will be a very interesting matchup for a team that finished 8th place last year against the uh, defending champs of the Premier League. Now, a couple injuries for this game. Jose Enrique should be back in the squad starting at left back, but of course Daniel Agger suspended for three games. He'll be out this match. On the Manchester City side, Sergio Aguero, as we know, will be out for this match. So that's Manchester City's leading scorer and Liverpool's best defender out. Now, for Daniel Agger, I think a couple of replacements that are available are, of course, Sebastian Coates and Jamie Carragher. Now, Jamie Carragher played midweek at Hearts, so people were thinking, oh, well, maybe Jamie Carragher can't go this match. Um, at this point in his career, how many games can he really take? What's his fitness level? But I think he will start this game. Number one, it's at Anfield, Jamie Carragher, Anfield just it makes a lot of sense. And number two, his backup, Sebastian Coates, um, I don't think he's even played a single minute in Brendan Rodgers' side. He missed the bulk of the preseason because he was away in international duty with Uruguay. And I checked the game logs. I don't think he's registered a single minute for Brendan Rodgers. So I don't think uh, Brendan Rodgers can go throw in Sebastian Coates, you know, a second year Liverpool player very young against Manchester City when he hasn't even played a real competitive match for him yet. And if I'm not mistaken, I think yesterday's match was the first time he was actually included in a, uh, a squad. He hasn't even been on the bench for the other matches Liverpool has played this season. So I think it's highly unlikely Coates will get the start. Uh, Martin Kelly at center back is a possibility. Martin Kelly began his career at center back, although he's been moved and uh, primarily featured at right back for Liverpool. But through all that, I think Jamie Carragher will get the start at center back. Now for the rest of the lineup, of course we have Enrique, we're going to have uh, Jamie Carragher and Martin Skirtle in the middle and then Glenn Johnson at right back. And in the midfield, I think we won't see any changes from last week at uh, West Brom. Gerrard will be in that free role. Uh, Lucas will be the destroyer, the defensive center mid, and Allen will be the passer. He'll just be controlling the tempo of the play. Allen, for me, was the man in the match last week against West Brom. And as we saw against Hearts midweek, when he came on, the entire game changed. The tempo of the game, um, he was able to control things in midfield. He's a very important player for Liverpool. He will get the start there. Now, Liverpool uh, may or may not sign a certain Real Madrid player um, this weekend. Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> But um, even if he does sign this weekend, he won't be playing on Sunday. Um, I'm 100% sure of that. And as for that certain player's future with Liverpool, we'll be doing an entirely separate video on where he may or may not fit because we don't know if he's coming yet. Liverpool's front three has been the hot topic all week. Uh, Luis Suarez has had three clear-cut chances this season. More than any other player in the Premier League, he's missed them all. And people have been really getting on Suarez's finishing. And, you know, it's warranted. He's not that great of a finisher. We've seen that. So people are thinking, oh, well, since he's the center forward, we should have Barini at center forward because he's a better finisher. Have Suarez on the left, um, out to the wing. He usually likes to go on the wing anyway. Um, that might work best. I personally don't agree with that. I think Brendan Rodgers doesn't see it that way either because I think in Brendan Rodgers' system, based on all of the tactical uh, readings I've done of what he likes to do, Luis Suarez is the inside forward, meaning he's the creative forward. His creation in the middle as a creative forward on the inside again, on the inside, um, allows Barini to cut in, finish chances off, allows Downing and Gerrard to cut in and finish the chances off. So in the middle, he's um, at his best as a creator for other players. I don't think the rest of the season we'll be seeing Suarez taking a boatload of shots. Again, it's in his nature too. That's what he wants to do. Um, but I think Brendan Rodgers will have to sort of reel him in and be like, we know you want to take all these shots, but you must create for other players as well. And um, that's something Luis Suarez shouldn't have a problem with either. Last season, he was Liverpool's top creator, created the most chances out of any player by far. So I think for the rest of the season, we'll see Suarez shooting a little less, creating uh, better chances for players a little more, and we'll find more balance in the attack. So with that all being said, Suarez for me, central um, striker, the center forward, he'll be right up front, Verini will be on the left, and then on the right, um, there's another conflict there. Will Asaidi come in for Downing? I still think Downing will be the guy um, at right wing until Asaidi proves otherwise. I think for this match, Asaidi will come on. He'll be a great impact sub, and I look forward to seeing him play. So again, across the front three, Barini, Suarez, Downing. There are no changes in this team um, other, compared to last week, other than, of course, the Agger uh, red card and the Enrique injury coming back into the side. The key matchup for me in this game is Lucas Lieva versus David Silva. David Silva was arguably the best player in the Premiership last year. And before Lucas got injured, he was probably the best player for Liverpool and the best defensive center mid. At Liverpool's Anfield draw last the summer against Manchester City, when Manchester City were coming in previously unbeaten, uh, Lucas Leiva completely shackled David Silva and probably did the best man marking job on him that any player had done throughout the season. I don't know if Brendan Rodgers is going to have Lucas man mark uh, David Silva to the extent that uh, Lucas did last year. But um, it will be Lucas's job to clean up against a very powerful Man City midfield. So I think Lucas Leiva versus David Silva, that's the key matchup. If Lucas can slow David Silva down, um, I think the game is in for Liverpool. Not that I think Liverpool are going to necessarily win outright, but I think anytime you can shut down the opposing team's best player, or at least 
sort of um, dull off his ineffectiveness or you know put a damper in his rampage, uh, you have a good chance of getting a good result. I think Manchester City should be expecting three points at Anfield. Their squad is significantly greater than Liverpool's, just better in every way imaginable. But um, I still think that Liverpool will have a shot to get a decent result, um, a tie perhaps at Anfield. My official prediction, and I am horrible with predictions, I don't think I've ever gotten a prediction right in the history of this channel, um, I'm going to say 1-1 draw. Sure, that's Liverpool bias on my part, um, it's my channel, I can say whatever I want. Um, realistically, I think Manchester, Manchester City should expect to win, and I, I don't know anybody else, any you know, um, professional pundits on TV that wouldn't pick them to win. Um, but I think Liverpool have a good chance of getting a draw here. If anything, certain for Liverpool this week is that they will not be as bad as they were against West Brom. And when you're not as bad as you were against West Brom, you can only go up. And I think Liverpool have a fighting chance to get a result. So that's all for today with JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block. Let me know what you think. Um, what do you think the lineup will be? And what do you think uh, the match will end up being? That's all for today, guys.